Hey guys, this is Travis with Beaumont Technologies. When most people think of melt flipper, they think of correcting imbalances in multi-cavity molds. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use those same radiological controlling principles to change the filling patterns in single cavity molds as well. The mold that I'm sampling today is a single cavity disc mold, approximately 80 millimeters in diameter and 2 millimeters in thickness. The material that we're running is a PMMA, more commonly known as an acrylic. You'll notice that we have a gas trap forming near the end of fill opposite from where my gate is. This gas trap is the direct result of the negative influences shear heating can have on this part. If we look at a lesser short shot that I molded earlier, we can begin to see how the gas trap developed. Notice the perimeter of my part is further filled than the center right here. This is a result of shear heating. Shear heating begins as soon as plastic travels through the runner system. Along the outside, along the perimeter of my runner channel, the plastic experiences frictional heating and increases in temperature. While at the center of my flow channel, the plastic does not see this frictional heating and maintains more of a nominal temperature. So in essence, what we have is hotter plastic along the perimeter of the runner channel and a cooler yet still molten plastic through the center. This pattern continues into the cavity as well. Notice the race tracking effect right here. That is where the hotter plastic is filling the outsides of my parts, while the cooler plastic is filling through the center. This makes sense now, as hotter plastic is naturally lower in viscosity, which means it can flow easier. So it uh, makes sense while the outsides of our part can fill further than the inside. This problem can be very difficult to fix with process changes or mold alterations. So today I'm going to show you how you can use Melt Flipper to correct for this gas trap issue. Now that we have implemented melt flipper technology, notice the change in our filling pattern. We have rotated the hotter plastic so it now fills through the center of our part, completely eliminating the gas trap issue. If we compare this back to the previous filling pattern without melt flipper, notice the difference there. Once again, there's been no change in the venting or the process or any changes to the mold itself. The only change is the melt flipper has been added to the runner system right here. Melt flipper can be used to correct for a wide variety of issues like this, such as eliminating weld lines, moving weld lines, changing how a part shrinks and warps, changing the last place to fill on a part, and as we just demonstrated, eliminating gas traps. For more information on Melt Flipper, check out our website or contact any one of us here at Beaumont Technologies.